What's going on guys and just before I get into this episode of the EA World Cup predictor If you guys do fancy yourself to get any coins and check out gamegoldtrader.com Use Calfreezy at checkout for 5% off you can get yourself PSN cards Xbox one cards um, And of course ultimate team coins which you guys are all well aware of so all the links will be down below if you're interested And let's get on to this episode 3 What's going on guys and welcome to episode 3 of the EA World Cup Predictor and this is an, a series that I've recently started where I put my money on EA. I put my money in EA's hands and they do the predicting. So of course, as always, we take two or one big game, two big teams and uh, we put them against each other. I don't play as either of them. I want EA to do all of the predicting. So they're going to play against each other and we'll hopefully see how this ends and then I'll put some money on the result and the first goal scorer at the end of the video and you guys will see a screenshot of that. So um, hopefully this will be really entertaining and I have taken your guys comments on board, a lot of which was Cal do this on the World Cup add-on and I have tried I tried to do it earlier today but unfortunately whenever I go to play kickoff on that World Cup add-on it dashboards me it has happened to quite a few people um, you guys can go and try it out for yourself I think it's quite a common little issue going around right now I've let EA know about it but if I'm honest with you I don't see them fixing it up anytime soon which is a real letdown but hey ho that's just the way it's gonna be another thing I do want to point out is Royce is actually starting on the Germany side and um uh, I'm just I, I, that's just not gonna happen. He is injured. Um, he won't be in the World Cup Which is a real disappointment. I'm a little upset about that Royce is a quality player But uh, yeah, he is in this game for the uh, for the reason that EA simply don't update their squads quick enough in my opinion They need to be quicker with that. You know, this is EA we're talking about It's not like they don't earn enough to have someone just solely looking at it and updating squads all the time So a little disappointed with that, but these are the halftime stats for some reason something weird happened there um, But yeah, as you can see Germany were all over them with 63% possession and uh, it was all going very well and Royce on the ball now who of course won't be on it um, in the game against Portugal he does have plenty of nice dribbling and unfortunately it doesn't amount to anything but um yeah I just wanted you guys to be aware that I am trying to get onto the World Cup kickoff mode but it's not letting me yet and as soon as it does we will have a whole lot more fun with it but let's talk a little bit about both these teams and how it's going to shape up in the World Cup of course they're both in this is a group game and uh, they've also also got USA and Ghana in their group I believe um, I personally think USA might cause an upset I'm not entirely sure against who or which team, but I think they could, you know, get, po possibly grab a point off Portugal. Uh, I think it would be very tough against um, uh, Germany, but for some, I just have this sneaky feeling that the U.S. are going to cause an upset, and uh, I, I don't know. It, it should be interesting to see, and uh, I'd love to hear, as always, your predictions in the comments on what is going to go down, how it's all going to unfold, and uh, it should be good, of course. Uh, Portugal have got the likes of Ronaldo. I mean, you just got to contain that guy if you want to have any chance against Portugal. If you guys can contain Ronaldo, then you should be in pretty good uh, in pretty good shape. But here he is, the man himself, on the ball. And he could have definitely just taken a touch there, taken it inside, maybe taken on the defender a little bit, grab a bit of space for the shot, and had a much better chance. But it wasn't meant to be, and he decided not to do that. Regardless, Kadira pops it through to Klose, and Klose is just incredible. I mean, his international record for Germany is ridiculous. This guy is a monster and uh, you know it just really shows he gets the goal there late on in the 88th minute Ronaldo again with a late chance to seal it and if I'm honest with you he should have really buried that especially you know it, it, I, I just see it happening in real life he would have put that away but it wasn't meant to be an EA didn't think it was going to happen and this is the way EA foresee it they see a 1-0 victory to Germany which is quite realistic I might say um, Germany are in fact the favorites for this game and as always guys I stay true to my word I put a bet on and I use William Hill personally and that I put uh, five pound on the first goal score to be Miroslav closer because that's what happened in game And I also put ten pounds on the fact that Germany will beat Portugal ten uh, ten nil sorry one nil um, And uh, that had six to one odds. It's okay I suppose um, with a potential returns of 70 pounds now There is one big thing about me betting on goal scores is that closer might not start for whatever reason maybe he's not in full fitness for the game or something like that so that is something to really keep in mind that me putting on these bets here I have to do it because um, EA put it on but you know he might not even start the game or something happens like that um, and so that's always a little bit dodgy but uh, you know the score line that's always pretty stable so at least I'm always gonna have a shot at that being the actual score line so keep that in mind when you guys see me putting on these bets regardless guys hope you all have a fantastic day and I really appreciate your support on this series especially if you like it and you enjoy watching it and most importantly I want you guys to let me know who's gonna be the first goal score what is the score going to be and all that good shenanigans let me know down in the comments have a fantastic day and don't forget to check out the description i'll see you guys later Bye bye